if you have uh, strange men or women pursuing you on Instagram or Facebook, they, they, they look beautiful or handsome and they want to add you as a friend or they're following you on Instagram or they message you or something like that. And uh, just know that. And if you can't see from their profile that they're actually active and engaging with their followers and like putting real content out and then adding comments and things, it's, it's, it's almost certainly a bot, um, B-O-T, bot. It's a spam bot that just uh, gets, it follows people so that, so that you'll follow, it follows you so that you'll follow them back. And then once you follow them back, your mutual following, then they can direct message you directly in your direct message box, some kind of spam message like, oh, would you like more followers? Or, or hey, why don't you invest in this opportunity or something like that? Um, sometimes I see, um, I, I don't get as many uh, beautiful women following me strangely as, as, as I've as I think I should. No, no. Um, but sometimes I still get a few, you know, women like that following me. And, and then they're usually, um, you know, posing, posing at, you know, here's my fancy lifestyle. But, but I know that they're not a real influencer because I've, I've seen this stuff so much that I can tell instantly. I, can, I have a very good intuition about it. And, and, then, and it's like, and they do post pictures of, their, of their, them at lunch, beautiful pictures of them at lunch or at the, at the, at the pool or some, something like that. But I'm like, yeah, even though you, you look like you're engaging with your people, I know it's not, it's not a real profile and not a real person. And um, anyway, so just, just know that, you know, when it comes to Instagram and Facebook, you have to add friends or follow people very, very uh, in a stingy way, I guess, to be very, very uh, uh, choosy about whom you follow. And it's really it has to be, um, which I talked about in a separate segment, uh, certain types of people like your potential referral sources, people that actually you can see from their content that they're, they're really engaging with their people. So anyway, I hope, hope that helps. And I want to appreciate uh, somebody who uh, just added a, a comment here. I'm live with, with some people. And uh, she mentioned that for women, it can feel creepy and, and gross and maybe a little bit violating when you receive those kinds of requests or follows. Um, and I just, I, 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 of course I can't relate because I'm a man <laughs> and it's different. Um, but if, it's, if it helps, I'll say that you can picture the person on the other end, end almost certainly being a uh, teenage or young man from some probably third world country who is trying to trying very hard to make a living and that's the only way they know how and and the way they make a living is by setting up fake profiles on you know on social media and then um uh you know they have a whole script you know they they they, they get trained in this stuff they have a whole script and literally it's because i saw a thread um i, I saw a thread somewhere where someone lightheartedly wrote back and, and start following that thread down to see what they, what they would try to get them to do. And they got the person to say, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get something to eat. It's very hard in my country. And this is the only thing I know how to do. Uh, I was trained to do this. Um, hopefully this will make me some money so I can feed my family, that kind of thing. It's that kind of situation. Oftentimes, like more, more often than we realize, it's not the military handsome man who's, you know, or, or some creepy, whatever. It's, it's this sad young person in a third world country that was taught to do this and and they that's all they know and of course i when i saw that thread of that conversation this person had with that person they, you know this person was like listen you clearly can can write english uh, okay and you, you can do more than this you know but that's all they know so um i hope this helps and uh you know, you can, you can, you can simply block them. I mean, the practical way is just to block them knowing that, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, and it's not necessarily a, 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 you know, young boy, it could be a young girl too, you know, or, or, or somebody who is desperately trying to, to make a living by, by using these scams. Um, if you had followed the thread all the way through, if you, if you actually messaged them back or whatever, they'll try to get you to sign up to get more followers on Instagram or to invest in some opportunity or to, um, or to like, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll trick you into signing up on a website that looks like Facebook or Instagram and putting your information in there because suddenly you thought you were logged out. Oh, that's how, why am I logged out? 
you know, and then you put your information in there and they, now they've got your username and password. Now they can hack and send the same messages to your friends, that kind of thing. So this is, there's a whole script for all this stuff. And um, anyway, I, I hope this provides some perspective that helps to, to feel a little bit, um, yeah, calmer about it and you just block them. So 